Right, uh, welcome to day eight of the Daily Dollop of Maths for year one and year two. Um, uh, make sure you're sat with an adult and you've got a piece of paper and a pencil ready and uh, please call out and join in. Um, uh, love your mistakes because um, uh, that's how we learn. Okay, we're going to start by counting backwards in ones from 86, 86, 85, 84, 83, 82, 81, 80. What's one less than 80? 79, 78, 77, 76, 75, 74, 73, 72, 71. What's one less than 71? Yeah, 70. One less than 70? Oh, yeah, tricky one. 69, 68, 67, 66, 65, 64, 63, 62, 61. Yeah, 60, 59, 58, 57, whoops, 56, 55, 54. Right, we're going to stop there. We're going to count backwards um, in tens now. So I'm choosing a number. I'm going to count backwards in tens from 96. So to add 10, you go down. Um, to take away 10, you go up. We're taking away one of these tens each time. The units digit should stay the same. So 96, 86, 76, 66, 56, 46, 36, 26, 16, 6. One more time. Let's do another one. Uh, let's start at uh, 103. That's quite tricky. What's 10 less than 103? Mm. 93, 83, 73, 63, 53, 43, 33, 23, 13, 3. Good job, guys. OK, we're going to do some counting backwards uh, in ones, this time from 100. OK, so counting backwards in ones from 100. Here we go. So 100, 90, 99, 98, 97, 96, 95, 94, 93, 92, 91, 90. What's one less than 90? Yeah, 89, 88, 87, 86, 85, 84, 83, 82, 81. What's next? Yeah, 80. Right, one less than 80? 79, 78, 77, 76, 75, 74, 73, 72, 71, 70. 69, 68, 67. Right, okay, now what I want to do now, I'm going to stop there. We're going to count backwards in tens. So at 67, we're counting backwards in tens from 67. So this is going to go down 110 each time. So this is going to stay the same. 67, 57, 47, 37, 27. What's next? Yeah, 17, 7. Good job, guys. Two, so here we go. Uh, it's joining with me. 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 14, 16, 18, 20. And again. 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 14, 16, 18, 20. Close your eyes. No peeping. Open your eyes again. What what number's hidden under the star bar? Turn to your partner. Yeah, it's eight. Okay, close your eyes again. Heads down. Don't no peeping. Open your eyes again. Trying to think. Yeah, it's sixteen. Fantastic. Okay, close your eyes again. Open your eyes. <laughs> what have I done this time? Two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve. That should be fourteen. Ah, I'll swap those two around. <laughs> okay, good job, guys. Okay, now. Okay, now we're going to use the number six and number facts for six quite a lot in the next couple of minutes. So uh, here we've got, it says there are six counters. How many are hidden? There are six altogether. Underneath here, there are some, and there are some here. There's one here. So if there's one here, well, how many must be under here, in, in, in under the hand? How many do you think? Turn your partner. Yeah, five. Now, you can make a math story with that, can't you? A math sentence. You could say six take away one equals five. You could say five add one equals six. Let's try another one. Okay. 
I'll do this one. Okay, so there's two on show here. I can see two. How many of the six are hidden under here? How many must be hidden under here? Yes, have a look. Four. Right, okay, so again, we can we can make a math sentence here, a math story. What could it be? We could have... Oh, shush a minute. I shouldn't say anything. Let you think. Yeah, four add two equals six. What's another one? Two add four equals six. Can you do a takeaway? Yeah, six take away two equals four. Or six take away four equals two. Okay, let's try another one. Okay, now, uh, right, so I can see five here. What's under here? Yeah, it's one. So, again, another math story. Can we do a math, a math sentence for this one? Yeah, one add five equals six. Or five add one equals six. Some takeaways. Can you do a takeaway? Six take away something. Yeah, six take away five equals one. Or six take away one equals five. Okay, let's do another one. Last one. I'm trying, trying to find one I haven't done. Oh, here we go. Sorry, right. Here we go. Right. Mm. There's six all together. How many's under the hand? If you can see three. Yeah, there's three under the hand, isn't there? There's three there and three there. Double three is six. So, math stories, math sentences, what can you do? Yeah, three add three equals six. Same way the other way around, three add three equals six. Uh, can you do a takeaway? A subtraction? Six take away three equals three. Six minus three equals three. Okay. Okay, we're going to use our facts for making six now with our ten frames. And every time I'm going to be adding six to a number, okay? And each time we're going to decompose, we're going to split up six with our number facts um, into different parts. So here's six. Here is eight. Oh, it's not a seven. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> here's eight. Here's eight now. Um, there's eight. Okay. Now we know our maths facts for 10, our number facts that make 10, our bonds of 10. Mm, and 8 feeling great. What do you add to 8 to make 10? Mm, and 8 feeling great. Yeah, 2. 2 and 8 feeling great. There's the 2 there. You can see the two empty spaces. Now, if we were looking at our facts for 6 a minute ago, um, if we use the 2, how many is going to be left? It's going to be 4. So I know in my head that 6 is made out of 2 and 4. So if I take these the parts of, of my six um, and bring those over here, I'm left with four over here. So here I've got ten, here I've got four. So the original um, math sentence was eight add six. Eight add six is ten and four, which is fourteen. Okay, now this looks really, really complicated, but it's trying to build up the idea in our minds of how we can um, break our numbers up with number facts um, to help us with addition. So this is useful in all kinds of um, much bigger numbers. So again, I'm going to make um, a number here. Let's have a look. I'm going to make... And again, I'm going to have six. Okay. Now... I've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I've got seven in here. I've got six in here because I've said I'm adding six every time. I'm doing seven, add six. Okay. Now, I need to think what number makes ten. Mm -mm, and seven made in heaven. Mm -mm, and seven made in heaven. I've got seven. What do I add to seven to make ten? Yeah, three. Now, I've got six here. There's a maths fact I know for six. I'm just going to pop back. Whoops, I'm going to pop back to this one. Uh, see if I can get it to do it for me quickly. Hurry up. Oh, I went past it. <laughs> there we go. We know that three and three make six. We've got that fact in our minds already. So if I add three to the seven to fill up that ten frame and get ten, it's going to leave three. So ten and three is thirteen. So we've learned that seven add six is 13. 
Now again, it feels really complicated, but it's just building up that skill for decomposing a, a, a number, knowing your maths facts and how they help you. Okay, we're going to go again. So the uh, last one. So uh, this time we're going to do 9 add 6. Okay, so I've got 9 here, 5 and 4 altogether make 9, 1 less than 10. Okay, now we know our bonds of 10. We know that mm, and 9 feeling fine, mm, and 9 feeling fine. What do you add to 9 to make 10? Yeah, 1, 1. Okay, you can see there's the 1 there. Okay, now looking back at the facts that we were practicing, I'm just going to move these this time. Looking back at the facts we were practicing before, sorry about the colours. If I've used one, how many is left of my six? Yeah, five. So nine add six is going to be, here's the 10. I've left five here in my of my six. So 10 add five is 15. Nine add six is 15. Okay, that was pretty tricky. But we're trying to, well done you guys. Um, we're trying to build up the skills of using our number facts um, to help us with more complicated addition. So super job, guys. Give yourself a pat on the back. Turn to the person next to you say, well done you. Well done you. Okay, right. So we're going to um, do something that we're comfortable. We're getting a bit more comfortable with now. Uh, we're going to do some uh, looking at the, what the long hand does on the clock. So uh, we've got the long hand, we're counting fives, so let's count in fives. Five, ten, fifteen, twenty, twenty-five, thirty, thirty-five, forty, forty-five, fifty, fifty-five, sixty, or zero. And again, five, ten, fifteen, twenty, twenty-five, thirty, thirty-five, forty, forty-five, fifty, fifty-five, sixty, or zero. Okay, now. We're going to say our thing that we've been saying when it gets to 12 and 3 and 6 and 9, the quarters of the clock. Are you ready? Let's go. Are you ready? Join in as soon as you've got the idea. Quarter past, half past, a quarter to, o'clock. Quarter past, half past, a quarter to, o'clock. Quarter past, half past, a quarter to, o'clock. Right, okay. Now let's see what the hour are on now. Oh, what time are we on now? What time is it now? Yeah, it's nine o'clock. Okay, right. So uh, let's have a look. So uh, it's nine o'clock. Uh, I'm all ready and dressed, and uh, uh, oh, it's time for some from PE on the internet. So uh, I do that, and then for uh, it, takes, it takes half an hour, and it's finished after half an hour. If it starts at nine, and half an hour later, it will be. Let's turn this digital one off for a minute. Half past nine. Half the way. I'll put the past and two back on. Half the way past nine. Okay, right. So then um, I sit down and do some maths for half an hour. So we're at half past nine. After we do some maths for half an hour, what time will it be? What time's that? Ten o'clock. Right. Now uh, I then do some uh, writing for an hour. I do a little bit of practice of my uh, writing. I might do some handwriting or something like that. So I do it for an hour. What time will it be an hour later than 10 o'clock? Yeah, 11 o'clock. Okay. And then I have a break for half an hour. And uh, I have a juice and I have an apple. So it's 11 o'clock. In half an hour, I have a break for half an hour. What time will it be? What time's that? half the way past 11 and you can see also if I just turn this one off a minute can you notice that with these half paths it's halfway between the two numbers which does make it tricky but it's it's almost you can almost tell the time without the minute hand just by seeing that it's halfway between the two it's half past 12 I'm oh, sorry half past 11 <laughs> that'd be good if I knew how to tell the time Okay, right. Uh, so let's do something else. Oh, let's finish, guys. Let's, that's enough. You've done a super job. But let's finish. Let's play uh, these numbers here. Uh, let's do um, 41 to 60. And again, I'm going to turn them off. But just a quick reminder, the 41's about here. 50's here. 60's here. Turn the numbers off. What do you reckon? Oh, sorry. If it's higher, shout higher. If it's lower, shout lower. Okay. That's an easy one. This one has got to be higher, isn't it? Because 41's there. Let's go higher. 
might do well this time. I might do well. <laughs> Guys, where's 59 on here? Let's give you a quick flash. Can you see? 59's way over here. It's right next to the 60. So it could be 60, but it's not very likely. Let's go lower. Yes. Right, what do you reckon now? Oh, I'm not sure. 50's about here. 44 is probably about here. What do you reckon? Yeah, let's go higher. Yes. Oh, we're going to get four this time. First time for four. Okay, what do you reckon now? 49. What, lower? Okay, I'll try lower. Okay. Oh, oh no. Oh, dear. What do you reckon now? It's 50. 54 has got to be here. What, lower? Okay, I'll go lower. Oh, no. Oh, look, I've won a blender how very nice or a smoothie maker okay guys what's your prize today you get on your bike uh, you're cycling along on your bike and there's a button and when you press the button on your bike um, uh, a rainbow of paint comes out the back tire so you're pedaling along ch -ch 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 -ch, press the button your friends are all cycling behind you and psh, a rainbow of color comes out the back of your bike onto the road makes a nice rainbow pattern awesome job guys um, thank you very much well done uh, see you next time